Hey, what's up, guys? Horror Hound. Now, I haven't really ever covered this magazine, and it's kind of funny, right? Uh, Horror Hound is very much, they very much deal, uh, they have a lot of stuff on what I call uh, uh, tchotchkes, right? It's a Yiddish term from New York that I've, you know, that we all adopt as people. A lot of toys and models and stuff like that. I really I don't really care for it, although I do have... A respect for models, uh, particularly uh, mostly military models and model work for FX, right? Miniature models like Godzilla and what. But uh, even looking at that, look at that is really man, that's some, that's amazing work. Okay, and of course it's all boomer stuff because they're they're charging, man, they're charging mad money for it. Uh, but maybe I've been a little too harsh on horror hounds for the tchotchkes, right? So. Uh, so I saw this Italian horror double feature, and dude, uh, everybody, you know, comes back to Italian horror. It was the core of the, the video nasties in Britain, uh, in America, uh, the Italian stuff was always seen as hacky and cut up and edited and all this, but man, there was something to it. And then when the DVD revolution occurred, uh, all these films were reappraised after a lot of these dudes were either dead or totally like not doing films anymore. And then people realized, oh wow, these were these were some good movies. Isn't that always the way, right? So I saw this cover here, Suspiria, right? Dario Argento and the Beyond, Lucio Fulci. Right. So I'll go in here real quick. The editor, letter from the editor. The other thing about Horror Hound that you think I would give it more credit, and maybe I will now because I forgot, they never get woke or political okay now of course you may not be interested in fill in the blank but fill in the blank is interested in you but i don't care they never do that in this stuff right so and they mentioned this he sums up italian horror and it's reason why you see it in everything a horror boom in the age the pictures help also the range of shock and terror we were exposed to the fact that the films were foreign made the scare is that much more intense and authentic for western audiences well, many of these Italian films really copied what was popular and successful in theaters. At the same time, they still brought their own style and unique approach to fashion in these films. Some of the most impressive and imaginative makeup effects, musical scores, and camera work set these films apart. And in some cases, even outshone the films and genres they sought to exploit. Uh, and also, I would add, they did it for like almost no money. <laughs> Uh, the Italians, when you read interviews with them, they're like, ah, ah we have no money. Like the, like the Hollywood and the Americans, right? But they're not wrong. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I like the little, the little I heard, I've heard this from the the the, uh, the, Italian, the old Italian dudes. I see dormen on piglia pesci, right? You snooze, you lose. Actually, it means if you sleep, you don't get the fish, right? Pesci, Joe Pesci. Uh, the pesce deal, the fish head, right? <laughs> you know what that means. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just cover a few things uh okay i'll say uh one thing haunt horror convention guess what remember i mentioned in the there's a horror convention in uh, niagara falls uh, canada right ontario which i was like is that gonna happen okay. well i'll tell you one thing this one in orlando florida <laughs> this this is gonna happen uh, thanks to their governor right <laughs> i was looking at my stepdad the other day down in florida he's like i said you uh you want DeSantis to run for president you know i mean that normie kind of uh, pitch. He's like, no, no, I want DeSantis to stay in friggin' Florida. Okay, I've been down to Florida three times since this uh, this uh, occurrence, uh, and I'll tell you, they prove to you without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, in a huge state in America, which is literally its own country, just like Texas or California, with huge populations, uh, that yeah, it's okay to 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 just you know. Uh, be open and get open for business. Right. <laughs> and this is, uh, my man Tom Atkins is here, yo. Uh, and oh, the chick from Halloween Three, the cute, the cute Irish chick, and, and Adrian Barbeau. I always liked her. So, <laughs> they got the, the Harry Krishna zombie from Dawn of the Dead. All right, let me let me focus here. Okay. Uh, like I said, they got. Oh look, they covering the comic I like. Uh, they got the uh, the stuff here. All right. Comedy of Errors, Terrors, right? great film, hilarious film. This too, like I'm the guy telling you, oh, I hate this hipster nostalgia nonsense, but bro, old school Halloween, bro. Uh, ben Cooper Halloween costumes, yo. I'm the guy that would say, ah, this is nonsense, and then I would buy this and I'll tell you. Look, 
I used to wear, we used to have these. You used to get them in the store. You get them in a the box. You had that mask where the eye holes would cut your eyes. It had a, a staple on the side with a rubber band. And you had this little like flammable, <laughs> little plastic uh, apron. Okay, but they were, they were cool, man. They were cool. So when I actually, when I actually enjoyed Halloween as a little, little kid before the, it got really rowdy and crazy. Uh, skip all the toys. Okay, the Beyond. Okay, we'll look your fault, right? Okay, this this was a really good retrospective, covering you know how it came out. Seven Doors of Death. Uh, you know, it was filmed in Louisiana. Okay, a lot of Italian films are funny. They would film in uh, America. They would film scenes in Manhattan, or in this case, Louisiana. Okay, but they would film like interiors in Rome. And it made it made sense. And they and they cover uh, Lucci, uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, films before, like Don't Torture Duckling, The Psychic, uh, The Black Cat. I never saw that, but like he's male, he's famous for these four films he did, which I'll probably do a video on. Okay, right, La Aldilda, Aldilda, right, The Beyond. Right. Uh, I like in this article too how they mentioned Lucio Fulci and the people that were part of his little team, Dardano Sacchetti, right, the screenwriter. More on him later. Um, and the fact that Lucio Fulci always mentioned Poe, obviously, and Lovecraft, and Clark Ashton Smith, okay? Uh, there's definitely, this guy read the Italian translations of this. There's no doubt in any of his works that these guys were there. So that's a huge thing, okay? It's amazing how the Italians are ahead of the Americans in a lot of ways. I'll bring that up later, but, um... They also bring up uh, Sergio Salvati, right, the cinematographer. This dude's camera work, uh, right? He was uh, he worked on like uh, the spaghetti westerns and the this film, yo, for the apocalypse is a Fulci western. Michael J. Pollard is in this as like a weird, weird, crazy dude. It's a great film uh, with a very well, actually a very sentimental second half. All right, all right. Salvati was another praise. Oh yeah, Fulci was known to yell at people on the set. He was like a he was like a a, a, cap, a guilty Catholic Marxist misogynist. So you're gonna bring that up. Uh, but uh, you know, but you know what? Hey, the, the Italian, you know, he was he was a talented guy, very talented guy. The guy was considered a hack, like most Italians, by the way, uh, for most of the mainstream horror press until. Uh, Fangoria didn't do that I'll be frank Fangoria championed those films Because right? they were like The edgy people at the time And they were right uh, I mean Letter Malt And all these These were like the, the Italian films were all derided In like You know These people You know I mean I don't even want to talk about Ebert And of course uh, Gianetta De Rossi They bring up the uh, The makeup effects of this uh, Gianetta De Rossi Who also started I mean he did the effects On Let's Sleep in Corpses Lie A great film I covered at one point, um, also, sadly, the you know, the Rossi passed away this year, which I, it's frequently, I find out that a lot of these Italian guys, uh, who I remember, uh, oh, they passed away, I find out now in these, uh, magazines, not even on the internet, it's amazing, yeah. and, uh, oh, this, uh, yo, Dawn of the, Dawn of the Mummy, that's a friggin' amazing, that's a great zombie gore mummy movie, I mean, which you could probably find, on a channel. All right, so it's interesting stuff here. Dracula in the provinces. I always read about this film, like a Marxist uh, Dracula uh, vampire film. I like to see that. <laughs> you know, right? Okay, this is a huge theme of Italian horror, and and especially Lucio Fulci. Right? The funny thing about the horror genre is how many times these films have been lambasted and ridiculed upon their initial. Released only to be praised decades later. Yo, Italian horror was literally... Uh, I've read many older books on them. Uh, uh, of like, these are the worst films ever made. They're hacks. They're disgusting. I mean, the cannibal stuff I can understand to a degree. But still, uh, you know, no, no redeeming quality. And then years later, uh, just like Black Sabbath. Everyone, I remember people telling me when I was a kid, oh, Black Sabbath, they suck. Now, then, then in the '90s, they were reappraised. Oh my God, they influenced everybody. Well, this is the same concept. Goes to show you, just like Mr. Lovecraft, you know, you do this, you do your work, you do it with full integrity, with no thought of uh, acceptance or or of of the popular or of the masses. 
Okay, and that will stand the test of time. Whether you're alive or around to enjoy it or not is not the point. <laughs> so, uh, really good. I'm probably gonna have to do two videos of this. And look at this. They got the. Uh, I remember seeing it. the box of the Beyond when they call it Seven Doors of Death Thriller video. Like you got tape on the day. Like these giant boxes were really amazing. These, uh, you know, the, of course, the cassette was not in these boxes. You would grab the box. For all you young punks that don't remember video stores, and they always had the horror section in the back or in the basement with the other adult films on the other side. Well, and uh, you go down there and uh, you have these giant boxes. And of course, you would take the box up to the front and then they would, the cassette was in the back, right? You know, so, but I, yeah, that, that was cool, right? VHS and yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do part two because now we're getting into Suspiria and I'll wrap this up But you know what very impressive issue and this isn't even the Halloween issue. I think the, uh, it's July August. So uh, Good job, dude. Good job, Harahound